Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So for this video, we have another diamond painting post review. So yes, we are going to do a post review for the lovely peaches from jaded gem shop this is my first diamond painting that i completed from jaded gem shop and i really enjoyed working on it all right guys so here's your warning this diamond painting is going to show the natural woman's body and her bum on the peach so if that's not your thing or if you have kids around then this video may not be suitable for you so here's your chance to click off before i get into the diamond painting thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video i did update my diamond painting logbook so let's find the page if i can ever oh i have to i have to print this one out honeycomb and flower bee all right here we go so this is peaches from jaded gem shop the artist's favorite kana dot pinup this is a 50 by 55 centimeter full diamond painting with 27 colors i did not get ab's with this diamond painting it was 40 dollars. it is a square i ordered it on november 24th and received it on february 2nd i started it in the month of august august 2nd and i finished it september 2nd so it took me a whole month I did work on this painting for the Rude Crude Nude 2023 event with Chris, Maritza, and Miranda. I finished it kind of late, so I didn't post my um, final picture in the group. I still could have done that, but I totally forgot. So that's, I always do that. I always enter events, but never finish and post my last picture with the event. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yes, so this is my first Jada Gym Shop um, diamond painting. I do need to put in my notes that I worked on it with the Rude Crew Nude event. And I need to add my washi tape because I like to put the washi tape that I worked with on here. So yes, here's that thumbnail, Peaches with the Little Bum. So yes, this is diamond painting number 22 for the year. And overall... This is diamond painting number 141 overall. All righty guys, so here we go. This is the lovely Peaches from Jaded Gem Shop and Favorite Kana dot pinup. I think she came out super cute. I will link the unboxing down below so you can see when I unboxed it and what I thought of it. So, like I said, this is a 50 by 55 centimeter diamond painting. The diamond painting did measure true to size. The drill field was clear on this diamond painting. Um, the squares, the squares were very satisfying. Everyone said that Jade had good quality squares. And yes, I really enjoyed working with these squares. I was kind of concerned when I got the diamond painting about how her face would come out because it's really tiny and how the flowers will look in her hair. But I think they came out good. What do you guys think? Now on Jade's website, you can pick whatever size you want. And then she has recommendations on there. I chose this size um, because I thought it would be appropriate for what the image is. And I think it came out pretty cute. All right. So like I said, it took me a month to finish this diamond painting. Um, I had a lot of other things going on, so I couldn't like constantly work on it. And I'm a little bit slower with squares, have to take my time, things like that. So it took me a little bit longer. There was a lots of areas of confetti plus color blocking. I know that Jade does have a lot of confetti in her diamond paintings. So I did appreciate the level of color blocking that was in the painting as well as some of the areas of confetti like in the background that purple i'm so sorry my dog is barking and every time i record he barks and then like in the peaches i think it came out really cute and i think it looks cute it is a little pixelated but i think if you got a larger size that would not be the case here not so pixelated that it looks horrible but it's still cute it's still cute don't get me wrong but yes, I love the way it turned out. This is my first time kind of diamond painting something 
kind of sort of risque you know what I mean because I normally go for like cutesy stuff but I think this is still a cutesy diamond painting with the bum you know what I mean so I like the flowers in her hair they're pretty cute I love how she's sitting and yeah love it so I didn't get any ABs or special drills in this diamond painting. You do have to order them separately. There are some areas like you can see like with the lighter colors, like if you don't place them exactly straight, you can kind of see lines through the painting. That's no fault of the company. That's just how I place my drills when I'm using my multi-placer. So that's the only thing problem that I have with color blocking with light colors. Like I said, it's no fault of the company, but that's just something that um, when I get diamond painting with light colors, I try to be as careful as I can with that. I did not go through this painting afterwards and straighten the lines like I normally do. I haven't been doing that lately. Once I'm done with a diamond painting, I pack that sucker up and I'm done with it, right? I was going to do a post review on this a long time ago, like I finished it almost a month ago. But I could not find the drills. Guys, I lost the drills to this diamond painting on my shelf. I searched high and low for the drills and forgot that I kid up in this container. So I was looking for them for several weeks. And today I'm like, I need to record this video. I finished diamond painting. It's like almost the end of the month. And I finished it in the beginning of the month. So I'm like, I need to find those drills. So I had to go through my pictures and see when I posted my beginning picture i always post it with how i kid up the drills so i'm like oh i kid it up in that so i looked on my shelf and voila there it was so that's why i am delayed in posting the post review for this kit my favorite area of the canvas we'll get into the drill shortly my favorite area of the canvas is her hair and her face i love the way her hair came out with the flowers in it i love flowers flowers is one of my favorite diamond things to paint but I love the flowers in her hair and her cute little face Jay does have a cropped image of this if you don't want to diamond paint the bum I know everyone's not into that I just wanted to have something that I can diamond paint for that event because I did want to participate in it but she does have it cropped where you're only getting this this is the whole diamond painting and then it's fit to size so her face would be a little bit bigger and more in the forefront but I did like this one and I wanted to do something a little risky for once, right? So you can get the cropped image if you like. And she has several sizes to choose from on the website. I enjoyed working with these squares. I did not have a lot of trash with the drills at all. Um, I was very impressed with the quality of her square drills. The canvas is also good quality. She has that soft back canvas with the scallop edges to prevent fraying. So yes, you have a good quality canvas here. Um, I think the skin tone came out really good with the shading here i think the skin tone was charted really good i'm gonna set this here and then do a side by side comparison of how this diamond painting is rendered versus how it's painted so i think it came out really cute and i think it's really similar to the original image so yes i really enjoyed that about it and yes that's the diamond painting so let's take one last look and then we'll get into the drills a little bit take a look at some of the colors that is peaches all right so here are the drills i kitted up in this little tic tac container i think i got it off amazon who knows yeah i did get this off amazon i think i did an unboxing of an amazon haul with this in it so yes so i had plenty plenty of colors left over not a lot of every color but I have so many leftover drills so plenty to work with and some leftover like I said they were good quality drills I didn't have any issues with the drills these colors that are in the background I have tons left over yes and I do like this container for kitting up I think it's 30 32 slots and this diamond painting had 27 colors so it was perfect for kitting up so yes the drills were good quality I had plenty left over no complaints with the drills at all. So, yes, guys, that's really all I have for you today. I really enjoyed this. Let me give you a little close-up of the drills. I like to do close-ups. And I like when other people do close-ups so I can see. Look how sparkly those drills are. Look at that cute little washi tape I found. I think it was in that Celestial pack that I got when I did my Amazon haul. 
but look at those sparkly drills, how sparkly they are, how cute her little face is with those flowers in her hair. Then we have the background here, her little foot, and then the peaches. Those drills are so sparkly. When you're seeing them on camera, you can't see half the shine and sparkle that you can see in person, but they are really sparkly. Oh, there it is. I'm looking through the, the lens and I can see how sparkly they are. But yes, guys, that's really all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I enjoyed this diamond painting and I have a couple more of Jaded Gem Shop diamond paintings and I can't wait to work on them. So if you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.